If you get lost, you're going to need to know the way, and that's what this is for. Hello right, guys, uh, welcome to another Building Middle Earth video, continuing our sort of Shire sort of little bits and pieces we're making. In this one I'm going to make some signposts. Uh, you can see these in the movies as well. Um, and we're going to make these out of balsa wood, effectively. Uh, shouldn't prove too much difficulty at all, really. Quite simple. Just going to cut some balsa wood up, glue it together and paint it. So, uh, let's get on with it. The main body of the signpost is going to be made out of a quarter inch balsa down. Uh, so maybe about two inches high. Um, best to when doing terrain, let's get a Hobbit miniature and just sort of see. Put it next to it, just so you can sort of see roughly where you want it. That's, sometimes you don't have to measure everything. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this using the same sort of method we did using the fence post. So you're going to cut it, rotate it, cut it, rotate it. And it comes away after a few rotations. And then at the end, just on each corner, I'm just gonna sort of whittle away at it. And so I'll make it like almost like a little spike on the end here, just add a bit of detail. And you just keep going with this until you're sort of happy with it. Like so. Next, to make the actual sort of signs themselves, a little bit of balsa wood, a couple mil thick, and just again eyeballing rather than measuring. Cut the strip off. That's going to go up here, like so. So, again, there's no real measuring to it, just going to come along here. Cut it at an angle like that, roughly 45 degrees, and then do the same for the other side on this one. And you'll be left with a sign like that. Um, and then just come in where you've got the other, cut the other half off. Put it on and just use that as almost like template to cut the other, the other bit. <laughs> We're making a uh, signpost with just two left and rights on, like so. We're going to stick them here. But you could make ones where it's put them at right angles. That, or you could have three. So you have one there and one there. It's entirely up to you, but we're going to keep this one simple. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to glue it. We're going to put some glue. On the side here, it's going to go. Oh, and here comes my cat. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> cat wanted to get involved to what I was doing. But uh, yeah, so you're just going to put some glue on either side and just going to pop it on. You might want to use super glue for this, but I've got, if you're in a hurry to make these, but I'm in no hurry, so I'm going to just, I prefer wood glue, PVA glue. And glue them on and we're gonna as you can see when you put it down it's gonna bend away and even if you put it down on the mat it will bend so just put some balsa wood underneath it just to keep it upright and allow that to dry now we're gonna make some sort of support struts for um, <coughs> the, uh, the signpost so what we're gonna do is get two bits of dowel, same sort of thickness as the uh, sign itself and we're just going to cut out, it's about three quarters of an inch, two of them and what we're going to do is um, just want to angle it off at right angles, now you can measure this yourself or you can just sort of almost eyeball it using something like my mat here, so what I'm going to do is going to line it up so the back corner is on this line here, the back corner is on this line here and it's roughly going in the middle of these two squares. Hopefully that makes sense. And that should give us a right angle if I now 
hold it in place and just cut across this line here and then this vertical line down here and that's quite handy for not only for cutting but doing things like this where you're eyeballing it and then you can have a right angle and all we can do now just come into the other bit put it on top like we did with the actual sign just now put it on with your finger hold it in place and just cut the other bits away and you're left with two support struts and so all that's left to do now is glue the struts in place so I'm going to get some glue put it on the uh, end of the strut like so and just uh, glue them in place it glues underneath the uh, sign and then glues to the body of the post and so it lines up like so now just going to put it onto a base this is chipboard medium uh, grey chipboard uh, you can use cardboard if you're not plastic or whatever just whatever basic material you want um, for this though I've not done before I'm just going to round the corners off I think Just like so, nothing, nothing special. Not gonna really see it anyway. And for this, pick blob of glue, whack it on, allow it to dry, and undercoat it in black, and then paint it Ryan oxide. And we'll do the next stage. Well, I'll leave it there and come back once I've got it painted like that. So it's just been uh, based now in much the same way as the previous video, uh, the mailbox and the uh, birdhouse. And that is it complete for the uh, signpost. You can, if you want, get like, I don't know, some sort of fine tip marker pen and sort of write something on there like, I don't know, Orbiton or Mick Delvin or wherever you want to point to, but I'm not going to bother because these are more generic and I can use them on different boards. That's it, we'll do a showcase at the end of the series when we've got all the bit and we'll have a look at all the bits put on the board together. But until then, take care. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.